Hey guys, what is up? Kokosing Valley Model Railroad speaking. Well, I hope everyone is having a nice day or whatever they're doing um, for the weekend. Um, just wanted to give everybody an update what's going on with my life. Um, so I wanted to do an update what's been going on with my channel and everything else. So I've already started making business cards for my Model Railroad business and they business cards are only handed out to a couple of my friends and I'm out of the railroad community when people meet me. Um, it's not the name of the channel, I will tell you that for sure. Um, it has like my phone number, email address, and um, the ways of getting contact with me, so my phone number and stuff. Um, and then my forms of PayPal, cash, or check. Uh, the three kinds I do for my model railroad repair business, which I've already started repairing trains for a couple of people already. I have probably, last several days, probably repaired probably one train about five, six times in a row. Uh, diesel locomotive I'm working on right now and several other small projects. Um, but for right now, I've been just working on other things. Uh using this phone that's kind of beaten up and i've been using it quite a bit for videos and photographs and other things and it's just um one of the cameras had got cracked a little bit so i can't use the zoom out ones for long shots and um but just wanted to let everybody know i'm doing okay and just wanted to give you guys all an update what's going on um, I thought for a while my neighbor was moved out for sure, and uh, he came back about maybe a month ago, and hasn't caused any trouble yet, but I said to myself, if he does start could start causing trouble, I call him a Karen, and there's a Kevin that lives there, so if you know what that means. Um, so I'm still living in the same house uh, alone and doing what I can to take care of my family and my father. And all my other animals, whatever I have time to. And I mean, for a fact right now, it's running like business and everything else and researching other things. And um, i just been doing projects. I got a friend of mine who's got a hobby shop um, not too far away from where I live. And I've been helping him out with his uh, business, uh, sorting trains out and getting ready for other projects. And um, so I help him go through the stuff, sort it out. Um, if he puts like a bunch of prices on something, I'll help him sort it out for him. And um, it, it's kind of a great thing to do to help him out because of the business. Um, but yeah, I've been just kind of taking it easy at the moment and doing, you know, things that just keep me going and uh, whatever I can do for the moment. And just um, going through a lot of things at the moment and just helping out my parents and stuff with that. And uh, been trying to work on some other diesel locomotive projects. Um, we'll be posting other videos soon on other engines I've been working on for people. Um, normally I won't mention names who owns the equipment and stuff like that. Um, you know... Even if I visit somebody's layout, I will not tell them who they are and what I do. Because it's a policy, it's private. And I know a lot of people want to keep it that way for the Model Railroad community. And um, I respect my friends that way. But if you make me mad or different things, I will automatically block you or other things. Because um, in the last couple of years, I've had people where they're just being mean off bat. And I can't deal with the drama and stuff like that with people these days. And it's like, get over it, deal with it. If you can't, well, go get some help. I mean, I had a psychiatrist that helped me out quite a bit for my disabilities for multiple years. And I've been working on whatever needs to be done for the family. And I'm proud of it. And the main thing is just to keep up with everything else. And um, just to see what I can do for a fact. 
and uh, scratch myself pretty good with that little wrench. And um, for right now, I'm trying to figure out things to just keep going and just and a lot of things and there's a lot of things I'm trying to keep up with and it's just little things I need to do and it's just um, trying to see what I need to do next for other train projects and um, and probably see why I'm putting my head down because I'm working on an engine and concentrating at the same time which is like uh, getting an aerob a Rubik's Cube if you get what that means but for me it's just taking my time on something and knowing what needs to be done um, if you meet me in person from a YouTube get together at like the Mill Creek Central Railroad um, I'd like to have a point where people can meet me at the Mill Creek Central Railroad when we're having our operating weekends and just have a good time but since everything has changed around there I mean they'll have days where people can come down and run trains particularly it's turning into a club kind of deal but not really offhand it's a membership agreement but hopefully everything goes well and I'll be try to become a member this year and um if I can get more down to the railroad and work on stuff and um you know I'm getting kind of tired with everything else in between that and just wanted to give you guys a heads up what's going on it's code Cozing Valley on a railroad we'll see you guys next time Bye.